CBS 4's Francis Wang talked to the senator about all things Dorian. The Hurricane Center did a phenomenal job. Right away, Senator Marco Rubio focused on the positives, including South Florida's preparation for Hurricane Dorian. They've been investing over the last few years, and we've been working on that with them uh, on improving the hurricane modeling. And if you look at the cone that was out there this year, if that storm had hit us 10 years ago, that cone would have been twice the size. And that has a practical impact because it narrows down the places that you need to be evacuating. The storm surge projection is really critical. Senator Rubio commended the quick response from state and federal officials. We're waiting to to see. We don't think there'll be catastrophic loss. Obviously, there'll be some beach erosion and potential property damage in northeast Florida as it works its way uh, there. And then obviously into South Carolina and North Carolina, we'll see what the impact is. Hopefully not as much, but certainly nothing like what the Bahamas has gotten hit with, with this massive storm sitting on top of them for almost two days. Foreign aid and assistance programs for the Bahamas have already been activated. Officials here are also working with displaced Bahamians with relatives in the U.S., many of whom may have lost visas or documentation in the storm. Hopefully we can get some people here reunited with their families pretty soon. You know, you'll see the Coast Guard and other U.S. agencies helping the Bahamians set up airfields where they can land supplies. The, the problem with the Bahamas is there was nowhere to evacuate for many of these people. The Bahamas is not an island. It's a chain of islands. And in many cases, there's nowhere for them to go. They're stuck there. He calls the outpouring of support from the community phenomenal. Yeah, I, know, I know, but most of the country understands that South Florida has a very close relationship with the Bahamas. Everybody here has traveled there. You maybe have family from there. Maybe you came from there. Um, so it's a very close relationship. We have people in South Florida that go to the Bahamas 80 times a year. So it's a very close relationship. It's great to see the outpouring of support. Francis Wang, CBS 4 News.